What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this digital collage of Chadwick Boseman. So I made this for a project at uni a few weeks ago and I thought it'd be a nice video to make so hopefully you guys enjoy. I know we haven't done a lot of digital collage videos lately so I wanted to make one of these just for the people who subscribe for the collages so hopefully we'll be getting a better balance now that I finish uni and a bit more variation in the videos. It's just at the time I didn't have time to like mix all the videos up I had them pre-recorded so uh, I'm gonna be making this today and then we'll be moving on to a basketball poster for the next video and uh, yeah guys thank you for all the support and let's get straight into the video what I'm gonna do is make the background so what we're gonna need to do is go to new document and just basically select a basic a4 background so that's just going to be 210 by 297 in millimeters and in pixels 2480 by 3008. So you want it portrait, 300 resolutions fine. You can put it in 72 if you want, but just because it's going to be screen, it's going to be on screen. But if you're planning on printing your design, you obviously want it in 300 because that's print resolution. All this is all fine. Let's just create the document. The first things first, we're just going to make the background. So what we're going to need to do is just get a basic pink. So I'm just going to go to solid color and include that. And then we're going to go up to our pinks here, and make a nice bright pink like that. So what color is this? This is going to be FF9CE7. And then what we're going to do now is add a vignette to this. So I'm just going to convert this to a smart object. So we just got our nice colored background. Go to filter, camera or filter, and then we're going to add a vignette to this. So once we've added the vignette, it will um, it will look like it's uh, dark around the edges bringing in the highlight to the center of the design so it's got focus uh, which is what we want really because this is the focus is going to be in the middle of the design so moving on right so you're going to have to download this texture pack that I've uh, left in the description below and what we're going to do is it's going to be full of images so I'm just going to drag the Chadwick Boseman first um, and just drop it in here so what I did with this is basically cut out half of his face and then just basically we don't need his hair or anything well, you can include a little bit of this hair, but what I did was I got the pen tool, got a path, selected path, and then sort of just went down his face like so, went around here, around his neck, and just cut him out like this. This doesn't need to be too accurate because with a collage, um, it's obviously quite rough, so you don't need to make it perfect, but if you want to make it really accurate, then that's completely up to you. So what I'm going to do now is click selection, and then it'll have our nice selection of the face, and then we can go to our selector mask and there we go we've got his face so if you want to bring the hair in on his cheek like that you can that's completely fine um, and if you want to bring it up here as well that's completely fine as well so we've got a nice little cut out shift the edge a little bit 20 there we go paste that and then we got our Chadwick Boseman face so we're just going to rasterize this and then click OK so there we go and the next thing we're going to do is add a high pass to this just because it just makes it um, of a higher detail. Merge these together and then we can convert that to a smart object. Now, if we want to make this bigger, we also can. Um, so I'm just going to sort of position it right in the center, somewhere around there. That looks very nice. And now we've got our Chadwick Boseman. Next thing we're going to do is add a camera or filter to this as well. So we're just going to make it black and white um, just because that's the style of, of this design. So bring out the clarity and the texture and the contrast and reduce the saturation. Nice cut out of Chadwick. So that's all good. The next thing we need to do is probably add in some more images. So we'll go get those. This is a very heavy um, image design. So uh, that, that's gonna be the main main part of it. So we'll select these bottom three. Then we're just gonna drag and drop these in. Now we can turn two of them off and then we're just gonna cut this one out. So what I did with this one, I uh, basically just cut out part of the building like this. Again, doesn't need to be perfect just good enough to um, to see the building. We don't need this building on the left because that's uh, unnecessary. So you sort of just don't need to worry about that. Select a mask, this, click OK. There we go. That's all cut out. So we can rasterize this and just click OK. Convert to a smart object, move it below the uh, Chadwick image. Then we're just gonna make this a lot smaller so that it fits, fits in nicely here. So just about there is good. And then if I bring up the original, um, you'll be able to see there's going to be a building in the way and there's going to be other things cutting off the sharp edges of this building. So you won't need to worry about that. So moving on to the next image. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next image. So it's going to be this one here. So again, I'm just going to select the subject 
with the quick selection tool, select and mask this. And the only thing we're going to need to deal with is the top of the building here. So this is going to be the area where we need to cut out all of the uh, sky, bring the uh, building back in just because it doesn't look right basically. You need to cut the top out otherwise you'll have the blue sky there and it'll just look really weird. Shift the edge in a little bit, click OK, select a mask, perfect, got your building. Now we can layer mask that out, convert to a smart object and reduce the size. This is going to be one of the main bits of the design. So I have this one up here, then we're going to put it behind like that. Now we can make it bigger if we feel like it needs to be bigger. And then we can just basically move this whole design down a little bit, set that OK. And now I can see that it's looking a little bit rough around some of the edges, but we'll worry about that later. The next thing we're going to do is get this Black Panther image. So obviously because he's the Black Panther in the film, this makes sense. So select the subject again. Now we can select and mask this. And what we need to do with this is basically just go around the fur and bring back all the, um, you know, all the hair and stuff you know, that a Black Panther would have, make it look a bit more realistic, basically, because you'll only see the top of the head. So that's the most important bit. So that's good. I'm gonna layer mask that out. There we go, that's nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the size of this, and then we're just gonna put him up here, like that, he'll go. And then we'll move him below this building. There we go. Okay, that's good. Only thing we need to do now is we are gonna have to uh, desaturate all of these. So if I just quickly do the camera or filter that we did before. A few moments later. Just reduce saturation, increase clarity and texture and contrast. All those, if you just keep doing those for all the images, especially the buildings, because they need it. Um, we can just apply previous setting. There we go, black and white. We need to do the same for the panther, but the only thing we are gonna do for this one is color the eyes back in. So we're gonna color the eyes back in just because way better and it needs some contrast in color. So. Let me just apply this, click OK, and then as you'll see now, I'm just going to go back in uh, with a soft, well, no, soft hard brush, make it pretty much the exact same size as the eyes, and then we're just going to color that back in and color that one back in. Before I finish off with the coloring, I'm going to apply a hue saturation, clip and mask that to the image, and then we're just going to change the color of the eyes to a orange, I think. If I can get an orange out of this, something like that, increase saturation, like that. That looks good. Now if I zoom out, you've got the contrasting orange eyes and that's all done. So moving on, let's go get some more images that we need to put into the design. So we need that one, that one, that one, then that one, and that one. I've got a load of different images now. I'm just going to turn some of these off for now. Uh, so I've got Wakanda there, which is going to go inside the TV that I have here. So if we select this TV and cut it out, just select a mask, that's fine. Again, it doesn't need to be too accurately cut out just because it's a collage and it's meant to look rough. And then what we're going to do is rasterize this, apply it, convert to a smart object. Then what we're going to do is get this image of Wakanda. We're going to position it on top of the TV screen. So like it needs to be like that. And then what we're going to do is clip and mask it to it. Actually turn this off and we're just going to select, going to select this inside here. Um, get this inside of the TV. Make sure that selects nicely. It's going to be quite hard to get at just because it's a funny color. Get rid of all this around the edges. And again, this doesn't need to be perfect either. Then we're gonna turn this on, and then layer mask it out, clip and mask it to the TV. Then what we're gonna do is go round with a brush, if I can find my brush, yeah. And then we're just gonna sort of paint around the edges just so that it fits and doesn't look naff like it does right now. So there's probably a much simpler way of doing this to make it look better, but just because I want this rough collage effect, it doesn't really matter because um, it's not meant to look perfect. It's meant to look like an old battered TV with this image placed in it. And then what we're going to do to this image is we are going to zoom out and then we are just going to change it to a black and white again, like we did with the previous stuff. Um, not to lay mass, sorry. Click camera or filter, apply previous settings, and then we can overlay this. So if we change this to soft light, you can see it's inside the screen which actually looks pretty cool. And then we can add the camera or filter to the TV as well. Okay, so do that. That's pretty cool, I think. So you've got Wakanda in the TV, and we're just gonna convert this to a smart object and position this one. I don't know why it's so big. Position this one on the side of the uh, design here. And now I'm just gonna get a layer mask and I'm just gonna cut out some of these bits of this uh, building because it's kind of annoying me now. Uh, it can go here as well, we don't need it there. Well, we can have it a little bit over the top if 
we want because we're going to have something else placed there. So that's not going to matter too much. And then we'll get the bottom of this big building here as well. We'll just cut him out as well. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is get one more image, which I forgot to get first. Or did I bring it first? Uh, yeah, it's this one, the bridge. Need that one. So that's going to go on the side here. And we've got this sign. Let's select the sign. Select subject. There's a lot of just selecting subjects in this, guys. Just because, well, it, it's simpler and it gives you a rougher cut than with the pen tool. Um, which is what we're going for. So, got the sign cut out there. Uh, just make sure we get the top in there. And we're just going to go select and mask. That's a pretty good cut out. Again, as I said, keep saying. It doesn't need to be perfect. Then we're just going to go rasterize, apply layer mask. And then we're just going to convert to a smart object and add the same camera or filter. As you can see, guys, this is a pretty simple um, colors to design to achieve. It's not too much that goes into it. So you can, any of you can do this, it's not hard. Yeah, so I'm gonna apply some more images now and we'll move on. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, we're going to move this down a little bit, get this sign image and we're gonna cut this sign out. Um, we could probably use the magnetic, magnetic lasso tool here. No, we don't want that, we want it up here, down to here. Like that, like that, and like that. There we go. Layer mask that out. Nice, we've got the sign. Again, it's gonna have to be black and white. And then we can just move this down here, like so, and then rotate it a little bit. We don't want it covering the 99 only, but we are gonna need it there. Yeah, that's, that's, that looks good. Um, now we're gonna add the bridge here. So this is gonna be the bridge. So we're gonna have to layer mask this out. This is gonna be, this is the struggle. So we have to select the mask this, and then as you can see, it selected everything. It's pretty good this actually. So if you just get your refine edge brush tool, go over all the white bits, it will cut out all of the the bridge, and it will save you loads of time. Just go over like that. As you can see, it's cut it all out. And again, we'll do the same over here. Go across the bridge. There we go. Nice. Now we can just do it in the middle and in the bottom here, and we've cut our bridge out. What started off as something quite complicated is not very complicated at all so if we just shift the edge in a little bit click OK and then layer mask that out that will look quite nice just uh, sat on the side here so if I just rotate this round juice it in size a little bit like so we can just uh, move it below Chadwick's face and then we position it over here now what we're going to do is probably layer mask this bit out here and then make it look a bit more presentable on the side as well because you don't want it um, looking bad on this side so if we go down just going to cut cut away the edge and you can also cut away the top if you want if you don't like it um, but that's personal preference so what we can do if we zoom in we can go in just paste away all of this rubbish and this rubbish and again this gives us that nice cut and stick look same here if you want to get rid of it get rid of it have a nice harsh edge and then with the last thing we're going to do to this is uh, give it a camera filter as well okay that's that done don't need to worry about that anymore and now we're going to add some pins in the bottom here so this image here which has these nice little uh, pins I'm just going to cut these out using the quick selection tool and then what we're going to do is go down and select the uh, actual pin itself and then we can just lay over here copy that then we got our pin. I'm just going to do the same with the S again. Don't need all this. It's going to be quite hard to uh, cut this out, but it, trust me, it's worth it because they look really good. And if we go down here, make that that will look like a nicer cut. And again with this, and with this, then we can cut this one out as well. Lay over a copy. And if we want to get one more, we could probably get the uh, Z here. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we can just lay over a copy this one as well. Delete that image. Now we've got our nice little pins all cut out. Then we can just move them around, position them where they need to be. So here, move them on top of each other. So the S could go yeah, like that. Select them all, reduce the size, chuck them in the corner here like that. Voila. Then what we can do is, again, convert these to a smart object. And then apply the camera or filter that we've added to the rest of the design just to make it all look the same. And then to make it, it makes those look a lot better as well, actually. And then all we need to do is add some purple circles and we're done. So what I'm gonna do is go to the bottom of the design, so right down here, 
get my ellipse tool, select a deep purple like that, and then just draw some uh, circles. So like this, we can have someone here. On these at the bottom as well. They want all the circles need to be at the bottom, so they're below the design. So we can do this, and then we can have a nice little one. Well, not a little one, but a big one at the top here. We should do this one on its own. So unselect those. Just do a nice little purple one up here. And then that'll be it. We could make one more down here, actually. So a nice little one down there. And there is our collage, guys. Now, in the original, I did have some clouds at the top here, but I, I don't really want to use those because I, I didn't think they looked great. What we're going to do now is add a camera filter to this. Going to group it all together, actually, as well. Make sure that it's all center aligned. Command T. All right, center align that. Looks good. Click OK. Then what we're going to do is take a screenshot once this is all loaded. Now, <laughs> screenshot. So Command Shift Option E. Got our screenshot. And then we're just going to go into Camera Filter and play around with some of the uh, things. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, when you move it, make sure that you've applied the, uh, you've made these two a group. Otherwise, the hue and saturation will move. So if I just remove this again, okay, let's go to the top. Command Shift Option E, do that. Camera or filter, and then we can just start playing around with some stuff. So highlights, shadows textures, clarity, all these can be brought up, saturation, vibrance, all of them, just bring them up. And then we can go to the sharpening as well. Saturation, you probably bring the blue down a little bit, make them a little bit more purple. The last thing we're gonna add is a grain. Don't need to add a vignette because we've already done that. Just can reduce the grain a little bit. But that looks pretty close to what I had before. A Little bit different color, but it looks good. Um, some cool techniques like the TV and cutting out the bridge. And obviously all the images are in the link below. So if you are interested in um, doing this yourself, it's all below. So um, yeah, if you want to download it, do that. Just do a side by side with the camera filter and the images. Looks great. Click OK and we're done. So this has been the Black Panther special, should I say. So Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. I just thought I would do a collage on him because I think this is a really cool idea. And it's got all the little, um, little replicas of... Uh, not replicas, but um, things that he would identify with. So Black Panther, the bridge, the Nine Bridge, that's where he comes from. And he's made a TV show about it as well. And uh, some stuff from his past. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I think it's a really fun one to do. Uh, if you have, leave me, let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.